And welcome back to Reality Check. On the line now is Josh Martinez from MTV's The Challenge. Hello, Josh. We go way back. Hey. How are you yeah, doing? Good, good. How are you doing? I'm great. So why are you in a car right now? Walk me through what's going on. So I'm actually in Miami um, in my car service headed to London for the reunion. So it's about to be a whole bunch of madness. But yeah, I'm actually on the way to the airport and just wanted to jump up. Wow, so we're in real time yeah. right now. Let's break down the episode. So yeah. outside of the actual gameplay, I got to ask you about that steamy makeout session with Georgia last night. So yeah. was that a surprise <laughs> for you? I mean, no, to be honest with you, me and Georgia have a really good uh, friendship and a good relationship outside of the house. We kind of hit it off during last season's reunion and we vibed well and then it just kicked off, like picked back up in the house. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. Obviously you guys saw with the whole bear situation, but I mean, she's, she's, she's a fun time. She's a good girl. And I just, I just couldn't help it. Yeah. Did you care that she was making out with you pretty much just to make bear jealous or did that not phase you? You know what? Um, yeah, it kind of pissed me off to be real with you. I didn't want to get involved in the whole situation from the start because I know that there's strong feelings there and I am really good friends with bear too. So it is kind of awkward, but at the end of the day, day and really into her and I am attracted to her and um you know it just it just happens it, there's a lot of downtime in that house so okay so you're attracted to wrong. her <laughs> you're attracted yeah. to her what's your relationship with Georgia like now we have a really good relationship we're actually messaging right now um I'm going to see her in a few hours I mean I'm gonna see her tomorrow morning so yeah we have a really good friendship and we're in a good place okay so what's gonna happen in London yeah. you said you're gonna see her are you gonna maybe take her out on a date uh, we're probably gonna go on a date go out hit up some clubs just hang out she is she is from there so she knows a lot of good spots and we're gonna spend some time together I'm really really happy to see her and it's been a while so I'm just happy to be reunited with her I'm just gonna say I'm not sure if we're still using the term ship but I ship you too so let's make it <laughs> uh, last <laughs> night you said that Polly betrayed you by sending bananas in after shaking your hand that led to the two of you getting into a very heated argument that got very physical yeah. so what was going through your mind when all of this was happening yeah so basically long story short he had I get the whole part with him having John, uh, Wes's side and me having Johnny's side. I think what did it for me was the constant disrespect. Before that scene, before that argument, he got in my face on the bus and it just carried on into the house and you guys didn't see that. And he actually told me to like, told me to fuck off and you know, got in my face really aggressive. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let that pass. There's no way that I'm gonna let somebody disrespect me like that, especially somebody that I considered a friend. So just the way that he kept talking down to me and then I saw him kissing Turbo's ass and having to explain himself to Turbo, but I thought we also had a friendship, so I expected the same respect that he was giving Turbo, whereas and he kind of just talked down to me, dismissed me, and disrespected me, and showed me that he was never truly a friend. Yeah, Whew, a lot of drama. Now, yeah. in the wake of all yeah. the betrayal, Leroy stepped up, insisted that the tribunal should make decisions based on what the team wants. What was your reaction to that? I think, you know, Leroy is somebody on Team US that I really do respect. Um, you know, and he did try for most of the season, for most of the time, he did try to, you know, play neutral and, you know, do what was best for the team. But you guys are going to see it play out where, as in, you know, there are numbers. I think that you guys kind of see it, but you really don't under, you don't grasp really what's going on. These people came in with their numbers. They formed a huge alliance before coming into the game. So it wasn't about who was stronger and who wasn't. That's how they justified their moves because they already weren't working with those people, so they were going to target them. You know, that alliance, um, it, there were a lot of people, there were a lot of numbers, and it just so happened to be that, you know, the ones that were in the outs were the ones getting targeted, and the reasoning was, oh, they're just strong competitors. That's why they targeted Jenny. No, it's because she wasn't part of your numbers. She was part of team, you know, the other side, the outsiders, and, you know, that's what she yeah. got targeted. Yeah, well, should make for a very interesting reunion. Josh, thank you so much oh. for chatting with me. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing how your time on the challenge unfolds. Best of luck with Georgia, okay?